Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday and I'm wondering if you can notice something on my table. What can you notice at the top here? What do you think we're going to be learning about today? Oh, well done if you spotted the money at the top. So lots of you have been practicing money at home anyway, but today we're going to be looking at the coins and what they mean. So I've got one of every coin, I've got more than that, but today we're just going to look at one of every coin and I want you to pause the video and see with your adult can you tell me what all of these coins represent what are they what are those coins okay so well done I'm going to take, go through them and see if you got them right this one here is two pounds and that is the pound sign two pounds Bit of a funny two pounds one. This one is one pound. This one is two p. Now we say two p it means two pence. This one is ten p. This one over here is twenty p. This one here, the small one, is five p. This one here is fifty p. The last one over here is 1p. Okay, so well done if you got those right. Now I've got a question. So they all obviously are different sizes. Some of them are circles. Some of them have more, more than one side. Um, what uh, does it mean that the biggest one in shape and size has the most value? So it has, you've got the most amount of money. So I'm looking at my coins and I think maybe this one and this one are the biggest in size. Okay, the biggest circles, or this one is actually how many sides? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sides. It's a heptagon. Okay, but it doesn't mean that they have the biggest value. It doesn't mean if I have this one, it doesn't mean that it's worth more than this one or this one. Okay, so next I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you've got coins at home, fantastic. If not, you could draw them. Okay, I actually got Miss Curtis to send me some coins because I didn't have any coins in my house. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in order from in value. So, not in size, but in value from smallest, so from the smallest value to the largest value. So, I'll give you a hint. I'm going to start with 1p, okay, and I'm going to end with £2. Okay, have a go. Put them in order. Okay, next is my 2p, 1p, then 2p, then this tiny little one, 5p. So 2p looks bigger than 5p, but actually it's not worth as much. And the next one is 10p. Now that's another big one. The next one is 20p, funny shaped one. The next one again is funny shaped 50p. And the last one, I've got to squeeze it in, here is a pound. So you can see my, co my pound coins have both got a silver middle and a gold edge. So it kind of looks like a little, little like pattern, doesn't it? So I've got a small bronze coin, then a large bronze coin, a small round silver coin, then a large round silver coin, a small heptagon, a large silver heptagon, a small um, silver and gold coin, and a large silver and gold coin. So it looks like it's a little bit of a pattern. So that's an easy way to know to put them in order. Okay, I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare some coins. So I'm going to pick two coins. These are my coins and I'm going to compare. So you've got to use your crocodile clips. Remember, is 10p, I'm going to write them for you so you know what they are. So is 10p greater, less than or equal to 2p? What do you think? Or oh, it is definitely greater than. 10p is definitely the biggest number. Okay, next one, £2 and 50p, quite big coins, both of them. So this one is £2. Now 
Now, in a pound, there are 100 pennies. Just so you know, one pound is 100 pennies. This one is 50p. So, £2.50p is £2. Great, but this one's got a 2 and this one's got 50, so this one's got to be more. But it's not because there are four 50p's in £2 because there's 200 pennies. So, £2 is definitely greater than 50p. Okay, I'm going to put some, leave some on the board and we can pause the video at the end. I want you to have a go at working out which coins, but I'm not going to tell you what they are this time. You can do this at home if you've got some. So, first one is 10p and 50p. Next one is 2p, £2, £1 and 20p and 1p and 5p. Okay, so there you go. So draw your boxes in between if you've got a bit of paper or something. Okay, so you compare the value of the coins. Have a great day, everybody.